Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make an interesting spring design. Now, my inspiration for this today was really this uh, container, which is actually plastic, but if you have a glass version, then even better because it'll have a bit of weight. But with the spring flowers, we're going to use these beautiful yellow tulips. Now, I love tulips and I love all types of tulips, but I just think the yellow and just keeping the one type is just going to make this really fresh. So what I've done is I've found a few twigs and I used this in a design before um, and that was in a planted design. But what I've done is I've just actually wired them together to create a little bit of a structure that we can sit on top of our uh, arrangement uh, or our container. Now I do want to put some stones in the bottom. At the moment we can see the labels, I tried peeling them off and they're going to go everywhere. So basically I'm going to put some stones in the bottom and that will just hide that. When you're using like plastic or perspex sort of containers, just be careful not to use any abrasive uh, material to clean them. If you do that, it's basically just going to get, um, it's just going to scratch it and you're going to lose that look. So we'll put our stones at the bottom. Now I also have some glass crystals that we're just going to pop in as well. So a bit of a mix. I think that's quite cute. So as I say, these were like four bits of uh, stick that I had and uh, I've just used a few little bits of wire just to bring them together. If you've got a little uh, set of pliers, you can use that for tightening it up as well. To be honest, if it's sitting okay and it's for your home and you're not moving it around, then you don't even need to secure it as such. But if you think it's at risk of getting bumped uh, or it needs to be moved, then uh, you're better looking for those points where it's going to just connect and it's just going to be quite happy. So we've got our container, we've got our mechanic, which is really the fact that the stems will hold the flowers, but also the, the gravel at the bottom will also capture the flowers. And we're going to fill this with water. Now I would say if the water gets a little bit of dirt in it, you can always do a water change at the end or you could actually just wait because what you'll find is any little bits of dirt will probably just go down into the gravel and you won't really see it. So let's have a little look. I, um, I want to put some twiggy bits in first. So when we look at our design, I'm thinking, do I want it to take a particular direction? Do I want it to be all round? Um, what is the front? What is the back? You've got a few different questions to ask yourself uh, then. So I think the tulips always have a beautiful direction. Now these were just some twigs that I got out of my garden. At this time of year, you don't need to you don't need to have particular twigs. If you're just wanting a bare twig, it doesn't really matter what that twig is. Um, but straight away, you can see that we're getting a beautiful line. So we've already got this line with this uh, piece of twig or this piece of branch. So let's just go with that. Um, Did get a little bit of greenery. I don't really want this to have a lot of greenery in it, but I got one or two pieces uh, that I thought might be interesting. And again, what I thought was nice about these was they actually have quite a nice line. So again, we can just bring that in. I think that little pop of green makes a difference. We're going to keep him for later. I think we'll start with some of the flowers. So I do have, now where are they? Ah, 
I do have two beautiful uh, hyacinths. So I do want to put them in um, just because they're beautiful. They'll create a little bit of a contrast and they're going to give it an absolutely beautiful perfume. So for all this is mainly uh, the tulips, we can actually bring in other materials as well. So I'm just looking for the holes in the twigs for us to add in our chops. So for me, I think spring is all about colour, uh, freshness, textures, perfume, and just actually bring in some, well, definitely bring in colour into your home. Um, because the winter can be so dark, so dreary, that to bring in a bit of, um, a bit of light and a bit of colour really just brings a bit of joy into the house. Now, I do have a couple of, these are stalks, but I don't want to put them in if they're not going to add to the equation. And actually, we can go backwards a little bit with that as well. So what I'm really doing is making like a grouping of this. So we, we also have like, this is like a group, a group here, and uh, then our tulips just work through that. So we still have that nice line, but we are going uh, in different directions and giving it a bit of a mix as well. Now, I've got a tiny little bit of mimosa, which I think we might put in just now. I'm actually very wary about putting too much material in and then we start to lose um, the twigs, the branches that we've got because they're really nice. Um, it seems a shame to then put in so much material that we hide them. This is just a little touch of rosemary. Again, this is adding to the, the fragrance of the design. And you can see that we are creating a really nice look. Now, I do want to just bring one or two things through the back. And we definitely need one into here. This is the only thing with using a, a natural mechanic is it's not got a standardized pattern to it. So um, ultimately you just have to need to have a wee look for your space to put in your stems. So I think that's pretty much all I think it needs. I do want to make sure that any stem going in also reaches the water. Now what I love about tulips is that they just grow and uh, depending on where this goes, they're going to change direction, they're going to change shape. Uh, 
they're going to move around and I think that is one of the big charms of tulips. Now I'm taking off quite a lot of these bottom leaves just because they add too much bulk into anything uh, and generally they can be a little bit damaged as well so this gives us an opportunity to just edit them. The problem with this branch actually is that it has, it was forking and the forking is not so good. So as you can see, you can really just add whatever you like, um, whatever you can get hold of as well. So don't feel you have to have exact materials. This is all about the mix of what you can get and what you do have. So I think that little bit of ivy just gives a nice effect as well. I'm just catching that onto our branch. So there we go. We've got a really cheery, simple spring arrangement, but there's a lot to it. So it's not just a case of look at it and you see it all in a one -er. What you're seeing is you start to see the twigs, you see a little detail, a little bit of ivy. And because we've gone with the, the line in one direction, then what we're getting is we're getting a definite movement within the arrangement. Sometimes spring flowers can be very upright and very static. So this helps give a sense of rhythm into the arrangement. Now, we have new videos every week. We'd love you to join us for our next design. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, we'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Click the like button for this video. It really helps our channel. Now, if you're feeling inspired by having seen this design and you want a little bit more inspiration, then have a look in the description box for this video and we've got a link to another spring design that's also a little bit of fun and uh, uses an unusual container. So thank you for watching and we hope you join us for our next design.